What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to start talking about how to monetize our app. So while the app is not quite complete yet, this is something we want to consider before we launch it because we do plan to make money as soon as the app is launched. So one quick way that you can get your app monetized is by putting banner ads on it. And luckily that's pretty easy to do with Firebase and Google because Google actually has AdMob, which is their ad distributing platform for mobile apps and it's pretty simple to set up so that's what we're going to actually cover today. Uh, as you can see here this is what it will look like. We're going to have one ad banner right there. Now the way these work is if a user that's using your app clicks on one of these ads you'll get a small commission and basically that's it. It's that simple. So it's really a volume game. The more people you have on your app the more clicks you can get and then the more money you can make. Uh, this is just one way that we can monetize and we will be covering other ones in the future, but this is what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. Real quick before we continue, I have a link down below to Audible where you can sign up and get a free audiobook. The audiobook that I just finished listening to is The Lean Startup, which actually relates very much to this channel and talks about how you can quickly fail and quickly get through your idea and that's exactly what we're going to be doing and really focusing more on the strategies from that book in the coming videos so definitely check that link out down below and get your free audiobook all right let's continue so when initially looking into uh, AdMob with a flutter app i came across this new package firebase AdMob, which actually this was just published about two weeks ago so i did get this working um, while testing it out and it does work but there's some setbacks with it uh, the main one being you can't place a banner ad anywhere on the screen that you want so that was a big uh i mean that in itself was enough for me not to use this so i'm not actually going to go ahead and use this package but i will say it seems like this package is um more or less backed by firebase so i, th I feel like I feel like this will maybe become the package I use later on once it's a little bit more developed. The package we will be using today and that I will be using in my app is this AdMob Flutter. It's a bit older, but not that old. It's only from October. Uh, but you'll see even in this demo right here, this is exactly what I want to do is put a put an ad right in the middle of a list view, right? And it's still going to be a banner ad, but not the true banner ad fashion that you would get using this ad or using this Firebase ad mob. Because just to reiterate, a banner ad used in this is only going to be displayed at the same location of the screen. So if you imagine your app is running and you put a banner ad at the bottom, it's going to cover anything that's there at the bottom. So if you have navigation at the bottom, it's gonna cover over that. Now you could put an offset on it and have it about, you know, have it display right above your navigation, but it's still always going to be just in that one spot. Um, I also had, I don't know, overall I wasn't able to get this package to work, but we are going to go ahead with this ad mob flutter. All right, so the first thing we need to do is add this dependency. So copy this line over and open up the pubspec.yaml and go ahead and just add that here. Uh, I guess we'll put it down below here. Uh, I'll remove the quotes, but you could keep them. Uh, packages get then needs to be run to actually get that package. Uh, once that's finished, we're actually gonna create a new service class for our ad mob functions, and then we'll use that service throughout the app if we wanna put ads in more than one location. So in the services folder here, create a new Dart file, and we're just going to call it ad mob services or add mob service rather. So the first thing we can do is just define this class, which will be the add mob services or add mob service. Um, and then there's going to be a few functions we're going to need here, but first let's actually go ahead and create these um, add mob IDs in actual in the actual add mob interface. All right, so over in add mob, you can click on the apps tab and you'll want to log into this under the same account that you have your Firebase account set up. And you can just go ahead and add an app here. And we're going to say no because this is not published to the store yet. And you can just name your app. We'll create the Android one first. I'm actually going to preface this with Android because we are going to actually have to set up an app for each Android and iOS app separately in AdMob. 
So we can hit add there and then uh, let's go ahead and create an ad unit for this as well. We're going to do just a banner ad for this video and the name can just be the home banner. And we can create that ad unit. So that's good. These we're going to come back to and we can grab those later, but just hit done on this. Now go back to the apps tab and add another app. And we're going to do the same thing for our iOS one. Click iOS this time and click add. We can also create that ad unit and we'll just call it the home banner. So now we're going to actually link these to Firebase. So if you click on add settings here and scroll down to the bottom, you can see Firebase down here is set and this link to Firebase button is actually grayed out right now. But if we refresh the page, uh, you should be able to click link there. Now it's going to ask for the bundle ID. So the bundle ID is actually going to be in Firebase as well as in the app, but we'll grab it from Firebase. So if you go in here, and since we're doing iOS, click on the iOS one and settings and scroll down a bit and you should see bundle ID right here. So just copy that and paste that right there and hit continue. Um, now it's gonna ask you if you wanna to link to a new Firebase project or an existing one. Uh, it'll already know the project you're, you wanna to link to because your bundle ID should be set up there. So hit continue again. Um, and then done and that should be set. Now we're going to do the same thing for the Android app. So uh, that'll be this Android one and app settings, uh, connect to Firebase. This time we need the package name. Again, that's going to be over here in Firebase. So project overview, click on the Android version and then we're looking for this package name here. These are almost identical, but they are slightly different. So make sure you copy the correct one. Again, link it to that Firebase project and hit continue. And then hit done there. So now we have our app ID set up uh, in AdMob for both iOS and Android. Let's get back into the Flutter code. So once we have our IDs in AdMob, we actually need to add them into two locations in our Flutter app. Uh, we already just linked it with Firebase, so now we have to actually link it to the Flutter app itself. So for Android, we need to do one version for Android and one for iOS. So let's do Android first. So you're going to go into the um, Android folder here and then go to the app and SRC and then main and then find the Android manifest here. And what we're gonna be adding is another metadata tag. So after this metadata tag that already exists, we're going to go ahead and add another one. And it's going to be pretty similar. It's Android name here. And then the name of this is going to be, uh, I'm gonna copy it in, but it's going to be com.google.android.gms.ads.applicationid. And you actually do leave application ID. Um, like that, you don't need to put the actual application ID in. Um, and then you're going to give it the value. So the value will be actually the application ID from the AdMob app here. So uh, if we go back to the Android version and go to app settings, copy this app ID here and go ahead and paste it right here the last thing we need to do is close this meta tag and that one should be good then we can close out of that and go into the ios version so in the ios folder go to the runner and then you're going to find the info.plist and we're going to add two new key values uh, the first one is going to be the key is going to be GAD uh, application identifier. And the value for that is going to be in, sh in a string um, XML bracket. Or I don't know, maybe this isn't, yeah, I believe this is XML. Uh, so the string of this is going to be actually that ID for our iOS app. So go to app settings here and copy this ID. 
There's one other thing we need to add for the iOS version, and that is another key. And this key is the IO Flutter Embedded View Previews. And this will basically just let us embed those ads. Uh, we just need to set the value of this to true, uh, which you can do by just writing true uh, like that. All right, uh, you can save this. Uh, when Normally when you change this stuff, uh, I've had some issues doing it myself. When you change this, you want to just run Flutter clean. And that should help reload everything um, the right way. We're going to create a function that's basically going to get us the app ID depending on which platform we're on, iOS or Android. So actually to be able to use the functions that'll tell us which device we're on, we're going to need to import uh, dart IO. So the first function is going to return a string. And this is going to be, uh, we want to just return the string value of the add mob app ID. So let's call this get add mob app ID. Um, and it's going to be a pretty simple if statement. So if the platform is iOS, then we're going to return the iOS string, which if you go back to Google Ad Mobs here, go to apps, get the iOS app, and go to app settings, and this app ID is what we want, so we'll return that. Um, then we'll do an else if here, so if it's the if the platform is Android, then we'll return the Android app ID, which will be um, let's see, should be under this one. App settings, copy that. All right, that's good. We'll use that in a bit. If it's neither of these though, we can just return null. Um, it should always be one of those, but I don't know, I guess potentially this could be running on a different device. Very unlikely though, as of right now. Um, another function that we're gonna need for a helper or that we're gonna use when building this out is gonna return a string as well. And this one is gonna be getting that banner ad ID that we set up for both of them. So uh, just call this get banner ad ID. And very similar, actually, you can just pretty much copy all of this, but instead of returning the actual app IDs here, we're going to go and get those banner ad IDs. So um, on the Android one here, if you go to add units, you'll see there's that one that we created. And if you just copy, the ID is gonna be right down below there. So Android one, fill that in. Then you need to switch back to the iOS app and do the same thing, go to add units and copy that. All right, so those are actually the only two functions we're gonna need right now in this class. Um, now we can go into actually our home view, which is where we're gonna actually display the ad. And we want this ad to be, you can see in our build method here, in our build widget rather, we have, um, you know, we have our top, our top piece which is just the calculator. And then we also have that list of all our trips that are upcoming. We're gonna to wanna to display the ad right in between this. Um, so it's not actually gonna be part of the list, it's going to be above the list. Uh, if you do want it to be part of the list, you can just put it into the stream builder, but you will have to do that by just appending the ad itself uh, to the um, items that are in this list of the list builder. But anyway, we're gonna put the ad here. So the first thing we need to do is actually initialize the um, new Firebase add mob uh, dependency. So we can do that with an init state here. And actually we're going to need to first import the package. So there's two packages we're gonna need. We're gonna need the add mob flutter, add mob flutter file. And then we're also gonna need that new custom one we just built, which is the add mob services. Um, let's also define as a final variable an instance of the AdMob services, which we'll just call AMS, and this is going to be equal to 
the ad mob service. So this right here is nothing more than just um, calling an instance of this class that we created. So we'll be able to access these two functions. Now, once we're in here in the init state, we can go ahead and initialize the actual ad mob uh, plugin that we have, or the package rather. Um, so it's going to just be ad mob all in lowercase. And then we can call initialize. And then we're going to need to give it the, this takes the parameter of the actual ad mob ID. So it's looking for this string here. So we can call this function, which is the get ad mob app ID. And to call that, you'll notice it doesn't work if you just call it like this. We need to call it on the instance that we created up here. So call AMS dot um, get ad mob app ID. And now our ad mob should be initialized. Uh, the next thing we can do is actually add the ad. So it's pretty simple to do this. We can just call it ad mob banner and it's going to look like there's going to be ad mob all over case and then banner and then it's just open close and make sure you put a comma there uh, now there's two there's multiple parameters that this could take but we're just going to give it two which will get it working which is going to be the add unit id and then that is actually going to be the string returned by this function so similar to how we did the add um, app ID, we will do AMS, which is that instance, and then we're going to call uh, get banner add ID. And the other thing we're going to do is set the add size. So the add size is going to be an add mob, add mob banner size. And if you hit the dot here, you can see the different sizes that come up. Uh, we're going to go with the full banner here, so it should take up the whole width of the screen. Um, and that's it. So if you save and run it, you should see your ad. Let's do it on both iOS and Android. So first we'll do iOS. As you can see on iOS, that full banner ad is displayed very nicely right where we wanted it. Now let's run it on Android. All right, on Android, I'm getting a bit of an error here, so... If you're getting this error, I'm going to try and look into why. So after a good bit of troubleshooting, I found what the problem was with this Android one, thanks to this comment here on the GitHub uh, repository for, I don't even, I guess this is just for general flutter, but um, anyway, the where we had this meta tag in the Android manifest, which is app SRC um, Android manifest, the metadata tag for the app ID or the application ID for the ad mobs, I had placed it below this metadata tag. And actually that's inside of this activity, this activity um, part right here. So you need to move it outside of the activity thing just to just make sure it's outside of there. And then when you do that, you could run the app again and you'll see you get the ad just like you would expect on your Android device. I will say I did end up upgrading a lot of my Flutter dependencies as well as Flutter itself. Uh, if you want to check out how to do that, I do have another video already, so I'll link to that as well. That didn't actually solve the problem here, but it is something uh, that you should continue to do as you're developing to just uh, keep your packages up to date. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.